vapour trail. The cathedral shrinks as you burrow deeper into the sea of wild green, then disappears entirely behind you. Cuddy by Benjamin Myers. My father believed in saints, peers. That peer soon vanishes and reappears, misting to the English for a platform on stilts at the edge of a coast, or a word for near contemporaries, which in a way is a trick, a near magic worth attention. Attention breeds attention, perhaps, and perhaps beyond its own time. Son, let me tell you a story of a famous peer. A what, Dad? A saint. Kabir. Cup beer. No, son. Kabir. Kabir. Come from long time ago. And he was against division in the head. He said, If you are quiet inside, all truth will speak to you. When he died, big argument. Muslim, Hindu. He was poor weaver, but loved by all. One side want body to be cremated, other buried. While they are fighting, someone goes to the body, lifts up the sheet. Gone. Nothing but. When Dad flourished the word flowers, I saw the roses, nasturtiums, mum grew in the small deeps of England. Kabir's followers could now bury or burn their pile of flowers, which were him. Talking of England and magic, let's turn our attention to the body that might fix the point of this country, its patron saint to be, Cuthbert Cuddy. In his own sweet time, magic would grow by not changing. His dead body, once washed, was put in a cloth, then shipped from Inner Farn to Lindisfarne, met by crowds singing psalms. Then the body was closed in stone. Now see the darkness of that buried age, the years 687 to 698. Eleven autumns make that dark stanza break. An acorn, alive, a peer of the Romans, turns into the six straight planks of oak that would be Cuthbert's new coffin. The wood cleaved along the grain of time, now fit for a saint. So, out of the stone tomb he came, same, the same, the same. Nothing had changed, even the cloth, white as the blackthorn blossom that was wrapped, emerging from the bud that late March day and the skin, just as it was, and the joints able to bend. One hundred springs, and seventy-seven springs more, another stanza break. The spring of 875 sees the body that is all but alive, unchanged, begin to ride. Sainted and famed through a candle-lit bead, Silver and gold has grown around the body. And with Vikings in the offing, the holy coffin is loaded, carted across the causeway at Lindisfarne to follow the trace of the Roman road. The carted coffin went up and down, west and back east, when a storm stopped it crossing the Irish Sea. In 1104, a final translation once and for all Though who knows, the dark vault of a newish cathedral which flowered, mushroomed about his bones. But before, once more, sorry, but before, one more look, surely. With the deepest wish, like the dead might wish for the living, the lid was lifted. Beneath the Anglo-Saxon coffin was another coffin. And God, God what would they see? Would the magic stop? A sign on the M1 says, The North. <laughs> At random, a song comes on by Ride. First, you look strong, 
then you fade away. An articulated truck throws a mist of storm spray, and I see in Kashmir my father's face. It's been less than a year since I saw a friend request on Facebook from his stepdaughter there. A message appeared. Assalamu alaikum bye. Hope you are doing fine. It's really sad to inform you that our father has passed away. And beneath a crying faced emoji, dad's face as I'd never seen him. Skin taut, then, further in time, milk-eyed, bony, smiling, fasting Buddha. Then, the last photos I couldn't look at, hooded in clean white cloth, mouth stopped up with foamy cotton wool. Then, the grave mound, sheeted in pink rose petals. And all my time is yours as much as mine. The song carries on. Voice on voice. You have arrived at your destination. After Durham and the shrine, I carried on north. Not wanting to stop, I suppose. I'm near where Cuthbert's body began the dead part of its travels. It's eleven years now since he messaged I'm really sorry about it. I miss you so much, Dad. I'm still to reply. Cuthbert trusted the quiet <coughs> that made his body sound. Cuddy sounds like Kadir, all powerful, and Kidder means where. Kidder is an angel, a St. George figure, sea garder. Green, green and alive. As the tide sprays in, within reach of the metal pier, I'm this side of it now. The sea foam flowers. It's all true. The road to get there disappears. <laughs>